Liberals and libertarians are atomists, only caring about strong, isolated individuals. They think we're Robinson Crusoe, but no, we are social animals. We need one another. We live together in a society. I can't believe that this witless myth still prevails. Obviously, it's dead wrong. This is an old conservative insult recently repeated by Patrick Deneen in his book Why Liberalism Failed. But you hear it from the left as well. Barack Obama, for one, loved that book. They only failed to consult a single classical liberal before they described our position. John Locke, the father of liberalism, wrote that man is such a creature that it was not good for him to be alone. Adam Smith, the economist stepfather of liberalism wrote that nature formed man for society. And he described that our morals and our behaviors are the result of interactions and empathy. Whereas his conservative enemies at the time thought that it had just been given to us by God. So both liberals and anti-liberals saw man as a social animal. That was not the difference. The difference was that the anti-liberals thought that this social nature was not just an inevitable condition, but a social obligation, and thought that we had to subject ourselves to the collective. And that does not follow. To convince us of that, it takes an argument, not just a caricature. Can you at least do us that bit of respect? At least we live together in a society. Hey, wait! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here, and check out these other videos. And check back next Wednesday for a new Dead Wrong from Free to Choose Network.